Unfortunately, plane crashes are much more common than we like to admit. There have been many fatal flights that took the lives of some of the world's most famous celebrities and public figures. Here we are remembering the lives and careers of celebs who died before their time. And we are going to discover which stars tragically lost their lives in air crashes. Let's go, John Kennedy Jr. and Carolyn Bissett Kennedy. The Kennedy curse reared its ugly head again after JFK's son, piloting his own plane, wife Carolyn, and sister-in-law Lauren Bissett all perished after the aircraft crashed into the Atlantic en route to Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts. Joe Lara and Gwen Chamblin Lara. On May 29, 2021, Joe Lara, star of the 90s TV series, Tarzan, The Epic Adventures, and his wife Gwen Chamblin Lara, founder of the Remnant Fellowship Church, died in a plane crash along with five other people, one of whom was their son-in-law. Joe and Gwen were 58 and 66, respectively. The Cessna C-501 jet carrying the group reportedly crashed into Percy Priest Lake in Tennessee. Bessie Coleman, the first woman of African-American descent and the first of Native American descent to hold a pilot license, Coleman was thrown from her plane at 2000 featuring after it went into a spin and died instantly when she hit the ground. James Horner, two-time Academy Award winner James Horner was one of Hollywood's most respected composers of film music, his score for James Cameron's Titanic is the best-selling orchestral film soundtrack of all time. He died while flying his turboprop aircraft in a single fatality crash. Ronnie Van Zant, a founding member and lead vocalist of rock band Linreed Skinner, Van Zant was killed instantly when the plane he was traveling in ran out of fuel and crashed, smashing into a tree. Bandmates Steve Gaines and Cassie Gaines, along with assistant road manager Dean Kilpatrick, pilot Walter McCreary, and co-pilot William Gray, were also killed. The rest of the band was seriously injured. Aaliyah, singer Aaliyah Dana Hoden and eight others were killed in a plane crash in the Bahamas after filming the music video for the single, Rock the Boat. Stevie Ray Vaughan, influential blues guitarist Stevie Ray Vaughan lost his life in a helicopter crash that claimed the lives of four others on board. The chopper came down near East Troy, Wisconsin, shortly after takeoff. John Denver, an avid pilot, the singer-songwriter, actor, and record producer died while flying his experimental aircraft, a route and long easy plane. The machine ditched into Monterey Bay, California, killing Denver instantly. Marilia Mendonca, the young Brazilian singer Marilia Mendonca died in a fatal crash along with the other two passengers and two pilots. The tragic accident occurred on Friday, November 5, 2021, while she was flying to perform in Minas Gerais accompanied by her uncle and her producer. Rocky Marciano, holding the world heavyweight title from 1952 to 1956 and undefeated in his career, Marciano was killed along with childhood friend Frankie Farrell and pilot Glenn Blaise, when the trio's plane hit a tree after attempting to land in bad weather at a small airfield outside Newton, Iowa. Roald Amundsen, the Norwegian explorer was the first person ever to reach the South Pole. He died when his plane disappeared while on a rescue mission, and the wreckage was found a few days later. His body was also never found. Buddy Holly, a central figure of the mid-1950s rock and roll scene, Holly died when the light aircraft he was a passenger in crashed near Clear Lake, Iowa shortly after takeoff. The Big Bopper and Richie Valens. Traveling in the same plane as Buddy Holly were fellow musicians J.P. Richardson, The Big Bopper, and Richie Valens. All three perished, along with pilot Roger Peterson. The tragedy was later referred to as, The Day the Music Died. Frederick Banting. The Canadian who was famous for discovering insulin died after he succumbed to the injuries, he sustained following a tragic airplane crash, which he had initially survived. He passed the following day. Patsy Cline, often cited as one of the most accomplished vocalists of the 20th century, Cline died in a multiple fatality crash in Camden, Tennessee. Piloting the plane was her manager, Randy Hughes. Ironically, Hughes' flight instructor, Elmo Merriweather, had also trained Jim Reeves, whose plane crashed the following year. Otis Redding, considered by many to be one of the greatest singers in the history of American popular music, Redding and his band were flying to Madison, Wisconsin when their plane crashed into Lake Monona. Along with the singer, the pilot, Redding's manager, and four members of Otis' backup band died. The sole survivor was trumpeter Ben Colley. Roberto Clemente, the Puerto Rican baseball star died after he boarded a cargo plane en route to help victims of an earthquake in Nicaragua. The plane went down due to engine failure and his body was never found. Will Rogers. Will Rogers, a popular film and stage actor, entertainer, and humorist died with Aviator Wiley Post when their small plane crashed in northern Alaska. Thurman Munson, Major League Baseball MLB catcher Thurman Munson, 
who played his entire professional baseball career for the New York Yankees, died while practicing landing his Cessna at Akron Canton Airport. His two companions escaped the burning aircraft. Carol Lombard, the highest paid star in Hollywood in the late 1930s, Lombard died along with 21 other passengers when the plane she was traveling in crashed on Mount Potosi, Nevada, while returning from a war bond tour. Joseph Patrick Kennedy Jr., a United States Navy lieutenant, Joe, Jr. was killed in action during World War II while participating in a top-secret mission. He was the only Kennedy son who never sought political office. Glenn Miller, the big band musician, arranger, composer, and bandleader's aircraft disappeared in bad weather over the English Channel during World War II. Two others on board the plane, Lt. Col. Norman Bessel and pilot John Morgan, also died. Mike Todd, film producer Todd, pictured here with wife Elizabeth Taylor, perished when his private plane crashed near Grants, New Mexico. In addition to Todd, those who died in the crash were screenwriter and author Art Cohn, pilot Bill Verner, and co-pilot Tom Barkley. Jim Reeves. While flying over Brentwood, Tennessee en route to Nashville, the private plane Jim Reeves was piloting encountered a violent storm, which ultimately brought the aircraft down. The country music singer-songwriter's business partner and manager Dean Manuel was also killed. Audie Murphy. One of the most decorated soldiers of World War II and later a successful film actor, Murphy was killed when the private plane in which he was a passenger crashed into Brush Mountain, near Catawba, Virginia. The pilot and four other passengers also perished. Bill Barilko. This young Canadian NHL star was on his way back from a weekend fishing trip when the plane he was on also disappeared. The remains of the crash were found an astonishing 11 years after. Jim Croce. Folk and rock singer-songwriter Croce had just completed a concert in Natchitoches, Louisiana and was flying to Sherman, Texas, when the chartered plane he was in crashed on takeoff. Five others also died. Ricky Nelson, one of the most popular, teen idols, of the 1950s, the musician and actor died along with his bandmates when their plane crash-landed in DeKalb, Texas. Nelson's companion, Helen Blair, was also killed. Payne Stewart, in one of the most bizarre aviation accidents ever documented, Champion golfer Payne Stewart, and everyone on board, died in the depressurization of a Learjet en route to Houston, as all of them were incapacitated due to hypoxia. The stricken aircraft continued flying on autopilot until it ran out of fuel and crashed into a field near Mena, South Dakota. John T. Walton, son of the Walmart founder, John Walton died after the plane he was piloting crashed near Jackson, Wyoming. The cause cited was a failed repair that resulted in an in-flight loss of pitch control. Corey Lytle, MLB star Lytle and co-pilot flight instructor Tyler Stanger were flying a Cirrus SR-20 airplane when it crashed into the Belair Apartments complex in New York City. Twenty-six others were injured in the accident. Steve Fawcett, a record-setting aviator, sailor, and adventurer, Fawcett's death stunned the aviation community. The light plane he was flying disappeared over the Great Basin Desert in 2007. He was declared legally dead in February 2008. Troy Gentry. Gentry, one half of popular country music duo Montgomery Gentry, lost his life in a helicopter crash while taking a helicopter tour of Medford, New Jersey. Roy Halliday, the amphibious aircraft the MLB pitcher was piloting crashed into the Gulf of Mexico off the coast of Florida. Air traffic controllers had received three Mayday distress signals before the crash. Lt. Thomas E. Selfridge, a passenger on a demonstration flight piloted by Orville Wright, Selfridge was the first member of the U.S. military to die in a crash pictured while on duty. Amelia Earhart, the disappearance in 1937 of Earhart's plane over the Central Pacific Ocean near Howland Island remains one of aviation's most puzzling mysteries. She was declared dead in absentia two years later. Thank you for watching, please do subscribe for more information.